Okay guys, this is going to be a six mark level of response question. Okay, year one topic, but it does come up. This is from an A-level paper, okay? Paper one, June 2018. Check it out yourself. Tempt the question, pause the video, see where you go wrong, okay? See those gaps in your knowledge and work on your mistakes, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna read through the question um, real simple here, okay? So this question is about sodium and some of its compounds. Use your knowledge of structure and bonding to explain, this is our command word here, why sodium bromide has a melting point, so melting point really important here, that is higher than sodium, um, and higher than sodium iodide. So we're gonna have to think to ourselves a few things here. We're gonna have to think, okay, what is the structure of all three of these compounds? And what is the bonding involved? And then we can break it down one by one and expand upon it and explain it. And hopefully we should get all six marks. Okay guys, so I decided to start off with sodium. I put in a real brief, concise paragraph here, outlining the structure and the bonding present. So. Let's outline this here. Sodium has a giant metallic lattice structure. Okay, really important that we mention that here. And it consists of sodium cations, um, positively charged ions, surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons. All right, <laughs> ever since GCSE, AJ loves this whole sea of delocalized electrons thing. Um, right, full stop. There is a strong force of attraction between the oppositely charged metal cation and the delocalized electrons termed metallic bonding all right real concise i've outlined the structure as well as the bonding present in sodium metal okay okay guys so you don't need to do this but i added in a nice diagram here just demonstrating to you how we always want to show our solid metallic structures okay very organized lattice a gionic lattice gionic giant lattice of our metal cation surrounded by the delocalized electrons simple as that okay now i've moved on past sodium done all that over sodium. Now it's onto the ionic compounds, okay? Our sodium bromide and our sodium iodide, okay? Both of these guys have giant ionic lattice structures with ionic bonding, okay? I've I've already, one sentence done, I've already said what structure they have, giant ionic lattices, and I've said the bonding present, ionic bonding, okay? Then I've moved on to defining what the ionic bond is, okay? And that is our electrostatic forces of attraction between between the positively charged sodium ion and the negatively charged bromide or iodide ions. And then in brackets, I just put attraction between oppositely charged ions. So I'm trying to get all the marks, marks here, guys. I've put in all the buzzwords AQA likes to see. Electrostatic forces of attraction between the oppositely charged ions. And I outlined what those ions are, okay? Easy as that. Nice, concise paragraph here. Okay, next paragraph. I've just differentiated between the two, okay? So although sodium bromide and iodide have giant ionic lattices and ionic bonding and sodium has metallic, why is why does that impact their melting point, okay? So ionic bonds are stronger than metallic bonds. Always keep that in mind, okay? Ionic bonds are the strongest, requiring a greater amount of energy to overcome. Thus, the ionic sodium bromide and sodium iodide have a higher melting point than sodium. Simple as that, guys, okay? Okay, guys, so we've added in a, a final paragraph here just to round off the question, okay? So we've said that although sodium bromide and sodium iodide both are ionic, but they're the same structure, same bonding, okay? So let's read through this paragraph together. Although sodium bromide and sodium iodide are both ionic, the anion within sodium bromide is smaller, okay? Our bromide ion, and therefore the electrostatic attraction between the sodium and bromide is stronger than that of the sodium and iodide and this is due to the greater electron density in the bromide ion okay hence sodium bromide has a higher melting point all right all done so what i'm going to do here you don't need to draw this out in your uh, exam in question uh, sorry you can if you want but i'm just going to explain it to you quickly okay so let's say we have our two ionic structures here okay sodium um with our bromide ion okay and then we have sodium with our iodide ion okay much much larger ion right here okay so this iodide right here has a has a larger ionic radii okay some keyword there we could have even added that into the question um or it's a larger ion okay simple as that and now when we've got a larger ion we ultimately have a decreased electron density 
decreased electron density. Therefore, the attraction between the two is going to be a lot less than in this one right here, where we have a greater electron density, higher electron density. Okay, and that's essentially how it works. Just try and get your head around that with ions, okay? The smaller the ion, the greater the attraction is going to be to the positive ion. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, drop me a like. Subscribe for future science and maths content. Really helps the channel grow. Best of luck, guys, in your exams. Peace.